NASA's SLS might quickly be usurped by Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship. The Starship is Elon Musk's super-heavy rocket that he hopes will take humans to Mars before the end of this decade. It will also transport NASA astronauts to the moon after SpaceX won a bid to develop a human lander for the Artemis mission in addition to the Space Launch System, SLS. Several tests have been taking place in Boca Chica, Texas, as part of the development of the ambitious rocket. While it isn't the first time Musk has talked about a first orbital flight, it wasn't until recently that a more concrete timeline began to materialize. Welcome back to the Space Gaze. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. Following the trademark of all SpaceX rockets, the Starship will be fully reusable. Its unique design makes it the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed and it will have the ability to carry more than 100 metric tons to Earth orbit. The Starship system consists of a super-heavy booster and a 165-foot-tall upper-stage spacecraft called Starship. It stands at 394 feet tall, 31 feet more than the legendary Saturn V, and 73 feet more than NASA's SLS rocket. The super-heavy booster alone is powered by 33 new-generation Raptor engines while other SpaceX rockets such as the Falcon 9 use Merlin engines. Even if a successful orbital flight occurred as early as September, it would still come after NASA's SLS Artemis I launch. Although both NASA and SpaceX are commercial partners, there has been an implicit race between the two super-heavy rockets to see which one would successfully go orbital first. The SLS is scheduled to launch no earlier than August on its first uncrewed test flight to lunar orbit. Starship spacecraft's prototype Ship 24 has already performed successful high-altitude tests and been rolled to the launch pad at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. Making the repairs for Booster 7 might reduce the broadness of the announced timeline. It is also speculated that Musk could decide to fast-track the new prototype Booster 8. There are many moving parts that could fall into place within the next month, which follows SpaceX's tradition of testing and fixing as they go. If Musk's optimism pays off, Maybe the second half of this year will be marked by launching two of the biggest rockets ever built. That makes SLS the area rocket king, and its efficiency was near perfection, stated NASA Artemis mission supervisor Mike Serafin. I'll merely say that the outcomes had been eye-watering. The rocket carried out and or exceeded expectations, he stated throughout a latest information convention. The SLS design is much like the method of the area shell the launches of which produced just a little over 6.4 million kilos of thrust throughout their run from 1981 to 2011. Area shuttle launches, although had solely three RS-25 engines fed by gas from a large exterior gas tank, whereas its two stable rocket boosters weren't as tall because the SLS variations, which string collectively in five segments as a substitute of four. Of notice, the reusable RS-25s, have all flown a number of show missions together with on Atlantis, Endeavour, Discovery, and even one used on an earlier Area Shuttle Columbia flight earlier than it was destroyed in 2003 getting back from orbit. NASA touts SLS as the one rocket able to transporting each crew and cargo for its deep space locations. A crewed Artemisia flight on an orbital moon mission is slated for no sooner than might 2024. Artemis IV, which appears to be like to return people together with the primary girl, to the lunar floor for the primary time. Since Apollo 17 in 1972 is scheduled for no early than the next hour. Starting with Artemis IV, a bigger model of the SLS utilizing what NASA calls the exploration higher stage, appears to be like to cart components of a small lunar area station, referred to as Gateway, to assist lay the groundwork for a continued presence on the moon. Starting with Artemis EX doubtless not till the 2030s, a brand new model of the stable rocket boosters look to extend SLS energy to 9.2 million kilos of thrust at liftoff. SpaceX reveals SpaceX's big Starship rocket standing at its Texas launch pad. Elon Musk's firm is seeking to try the primary orbital take a look at flight of the practically 400-foot-tall Starship someday this year. That future, although might see Elon Musk's in-development Starship with tremendous heavy booster for SpaceX not solely take the title of strongest rocket to make it to orbit, but additionally be thought of in its place for crew and cargo launch functionality. Utilizing 33 of SpaceX's new Raptor 2 engines, the tremendous heavy booster will produce 17 million kilos of thrust at liftoff, which it sort of double that scene. 
heard and felt on the Artemis I launch. The Starship itself has six Raptor II engines and could have the capability to convey greater than 220,000 kilos of crew and cargo to low Earth orbit, which is barely greater than the present SLS capability. The Starship and Tremendous Heavy Mixture is gearing up for its first orbital take a look at flight from SpaceX's facility, Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. It finally carried out a static fireplace on November 14, with 14 of the engines, with Musk posting to Twitter, the launch try might be developing earlier than the top of this year. The rising cadence of Raptor static fires follows a July incident that left the booster in one of repairs when SpaceX lit up all 33, leading to a fireball on the pad. Mixed, Starship and tremendous heavy stand at 395 toes tall. SpaceX has acknowledged it prefers to maintain Starship, take a look at flights in Texas, however can be constructing out launch services for the next-gen rocket at KSC. The place it launches its present secure of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. SpaceX is shifting at light speed to get the aptitude to conduct launch operations right here, stated Frank DeBello, president and CEO of Area Florida, the state's aerospace financial improvement company. So we're very optimistic that it received B lengthy. However, the first launch shall be from Texas, with Starship separating from the tremendous heavy booster, which is able to land on a SpaceX vessel 20 miles offshore within the Gulf of Mexico. Starship then seeks to attain orbit for at the least one journey across the Earth and land within the Pacific Ocean. It's unclear what number of take-a-look-at launches will happen from Texas earlier than Florida operations get underway. It's a big automobile, no query about it, and I feel will probably be a sight to see irrespective of the place it launches from. However, I anticipate the workhorse perform of Starship goes to be carried out right here, DeBello stated. That's our purpose anyway. We're partnering with SpaceX to attempt to make that occur. NASA officers have a vested curiosity in Starship reaching operational standing rapidly as a model of will probably be used for Artemis II. On that flight, astronauts will switch from Orion right into a Starship, whereas orbiting the Moon and its Starship that can convey them right down to and again up from the lunar floor. Final week, NASA awarded SpaceX with the deliberate touchdown for Artemis IV as properly though future landers from different corporations can proceed to compete for Artemis contracts. With one take a look at flight to the moon forward of Artemis II required, SpaceX now has three lunar missions for NASA on the books. A lot appreciated, SpaceX is not going to let NASA down, wrote Musk on Twitter after the award announcement. Musk was additionally congratulatory to NASA after Artemis I made its profitable launch. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.